For connectivity and exporting images, there are a number of ways you can export to a USB or send to a DICOM network. Not or all friendly. So I'm going to address exporting an entire patient file to USB or network because earlier we did discuss how to, if I flip through here and go to previous images, I can you know save single images at a time by coming over here and clicking the menu button as we showed in an earlier movie. I'll get that up there. And then there's some other ways too, but they're not very efficient and they're not always, and they don't always work well. So the first thing we'll do here is go to the patient screen. And up here in the left hand corner, we have some choices. This is going to show the active images for this patient, image history for that patient. I don't have a history, so this is all we'll see. And then we want to try data transfer. Um, first, there's a batch quick save here. This does allow you to save images to a USB stick. However, it's not always very helpful. I found that sometimes it exports the cine loops and the images just fine, but other times the JPEG images did not come across. So you may try that a few times. It's a very easy way to transfer images in JPEG or a movie format. However, I didn't find it to be always very helpful. It, it kind of, it didn't transfer images. Some of the JPEGs were corrupt. So uh, I wouldn't trust it, in other words. So let's do this just to make sure. We'll click up here to data transfer. Okay, it's saying I have unsaved da exam data. I'm going to go ahead and store all. And I'm going to choose MPEG view. MPEG view allows me to view this on a PC.